Time for a little gal time. This is what we're asking today. Should moms still have baby showers after their first child? And have you had or been to a repeat baby shower? You know, what do you think about parents who have these showers for baby number three or baby number four? Yeah, I mean, if your friends want to take a little time out to shower you with love and welcome them to the Play some fun games. Joy, but let yeah, let them. Absolutely. Uh -huh. If they want to spend their money on you, let them. Now, if you're trying to plan two and three, four or five, baby, yeah, I don't know, something may be wrong with that. You know there what I mean? There are a lot of creative things out there these days. I mentioned it briefly earlier, but I just got so tickled when I saw it on the invite, how it's a co-ed baby shower yeah. a friend of mine's having, and they're going to play baby shower poker, and when you ante up, you ante up with some diapers. Some so diapers. you have to bring diapers, and then the buy-in was, was pacifiers. That's yeah, cool. it was that's really cool. just great idea. And and maybe you can do some of those different things, like have a big diaper party, baby shower for yeah. that second or third, because sometimes they still have clothes left over, over or binkies or whatever yeah. it is, and they just need some and diapers. And you mentioned that earlier. You threw it for a friend that was yeah, just a plain. Just don't bring anything but diapers. Yeah, because you can always use those. Well, I know my other girlfriend who just had a baby in December. She said that's the best gift she got was a big case, 250 diapers, and mm -hmm. she said you know it lasted her two months, and she said that was wow. the best thing. That's really good. Galtime.com yeah. also has some other alternative ways you can have baby showers. Uh, but this is what you're saying about it. Uh, Robbie, a grasshopper, says mm -hmm. first kid only as far as having a shower. If you can't afford all the stuff that you need for the second, third, or fourth, then you shouldn't be having another baby. Oh, that's wrong. And MJ says the people that care about you will give you gifts for each child without a shower. Aww. So the baby gets celebrated by the ones that really care, not everyone in your extended list of acquaintances and relatives. And Allison just wraps it up by saying depends on how far apart they're born. If it's been years and you've given all your baby things away to your friends, then they can come to your baby shower. Hmm. Go to Gal Time for more.